naturally, we started with one person where I would go out during the daytime and call on the doctors and get orders, come home at night. And if it were tablets, I would count the tablets out, put them in the bottle, put the cotton in, put the lid on, put the label on. And I would take whatever the doctor would order and package it up, sit down with the typewriter and I'd type up the invoice. And by this time, it would be 11 or 12 o'clock at night. And the packages were small enough, I could send them through the mail and I'd head for the post office and put them out that night. Of course, I had to keep the books and all that, but it was one man. As I saw the business was successful, I realized that if I could do it, I could train other people to do it. So I hired the first salesman up in St. Joseph, Missouri and trained him myself, the second salesman in Des Moines, Iowa, which was further north. And the third salesman was down in Joplin, Missouri. I would buy the tablets in a drum barrel of 50,000. And since it was in the basement of my home, I would, the truck would deliver them. And we kind of, we kept it a secret what we were doing until one of the neighbors asked us, why are these trucks coming by all the time, delivering things to you? And so I thought it was time for us to set up an office. And that was about nine months after we started. And we moved to our, out of our basement to the first location, which was at 4215 Troost. It was 12 feet wide and 40 feet deep with a hardware store on one side and a used car lot on the other. And that was our first real office space for Marion Laboratories. Certainly, Marion Laboratories was built on promises. When our people first started joining our organization, we had no medical benefits. We didn't furnish automobiles. We only paid half their expenses. But I told them the day would come when we would have a good medical program, we would have lots of benefits, when they'd have an opportunity to own stock in the company, when we would have a profit-sharing retirement program. Those were all promises, but they came through gradually as we were making money, we delivered promise after promise to them. And if they hadn't had the trust and confidence in their leadership, they wouldn't have given of themselves and sacrificed and dedicated and given their loyalty and worked so hard to make the company successful. Let me take you back in time 37 years ago when Marion Laboratories first started. One person, $5,000, no products, no customers. Trying to compete against the pharmaceutical giants of this great country. Impossible, almost. Tough, you bet your life. But we knew if we could attract the type of person who would dedicate their working life, who would give 100% effort that Marion would not only compete, but would emerge victorious.